Oh, look at this. It's a ruby salt bush. It's a ruby salt bush. I've walked past it literally hundreds of times. I've walked past it hundreds of times and I didn't know what it was. But I had an edible plant beside me all along. I've been spitting out ruby salt bush seeds today everywhere, but I found that this one was already growing here. It must have been dropped by a bird. So I'm very lucky indeed, aren't I? So lucky. You can see it looks like an ice plant, can't you? It does. It's related to them. Anyway, it's been eaten by the Australian uh, indigenous people for thousands and thousands of years. The uh, leaves are edible as well. Let's try one. Mm. I can taste, yes, that salty flavour. That's obviously why it's called salt bush. Apparently they can be steamed as a vegetable. What? Now, as I was saying yesterday, before the card ran out, this is ruby salt bush. It's coming up all over the place. It's to be encouraged. I'm throwing seeds around to encourage it. This one was here all along and I didn't even know until I discovered they were edible. I have edible berries and the uh, leaves are edible as a cooked vegetable. So, and I tasted them yesterday and they had a salty flavour. I'm going to collect some from a larger bush now and I'm going to eat them. Hmm, I've got a salty taste and they're rather juicy and succulent. Ruby salt bush, Australian bush tucker. Learn to recognise it. Related to the ice plant. Here's another ruby salt bush in berry. But we're going to pick some leaves. Just a few leaves for fun to test them out, what they're like in noodles. Why not? Just some green leaves. They look a bit like pig face, don't they, really? Just a few little green leaves without twigs and things. I'll have them in my noodles, my instant noodles. That's a good way to test something in a small amount, just to start off. They're quite fleshy, aren't they, really? Quite fleshy looking. Just have a little bit to start with any strange new bush food. So, and here's a couple of berries. Not quite ripe. So the fruit can be used as a fruit, as a berry, and the leaves can be used as a vegetable, a boiled vegetable. I haven't read that they're eaten raw, but I have eaten a couple of raw. And they don't seem to do me any harm, do they? They've got that salty flavour. Listen to that thunder. Picking some ruby salt bush here, some leaves. Just to test them. These are better quality leaves here. Nice big fleshy ones to have in our noodles. Might even stimulate growth, mightn't it? So there's some leaves. Let's have a look at the plant itself. Yes, it's all very fleshy, isn't it? Those leaves are very fleshy looking. Where are they? Where are we looking at? Yes, look at them. So fleshy looking. Whoops, where are we? Quite fleshy looking. Quite fleshy. Oh, it's raining, so I'm sort of trying to hurry up. I haven't got time to focus. So there's our lovely berries, all fleshy looking. I'd better get out of this rain. Fleshy ruby saltbush leaves. Well, here we are. I've just uh, picked this bowl out. I'm not going to wait too much since it's my first time. I've picked some nice little bits that are like broccoli. And remember we don't have to add salt to this because it's already salty. So I'll have it with some noodles now and I'll tell you what it's like afterwards. I'll just eat one plain. Mmm, juicy and salty so that should be nice. I'll go and cook it with some noodles now. Just just mixing them up here with some macaroni noodles. 
Even if they weren't used as a vegetable, they'd be a very pretty garnish anyway. They look just like parsley, don't they? Anyway, I'll just I'll cook that now and we'll see how it goes. Well, it certainly tastes all right. It uh, gets softer when it's cooked, of course. So, hmm, it tastes all right. It's, it's a bit like beans, I suppose. It's not unpleasant. Hmm. I could do with more of that, couldn't I? It's not unpleasant. Mmm. There it is. Not unlike beans or broccoli, just like any other green vegetable. And it's free, so next time you go to camping, try some. See ya, and remember, always consult a wild food expert before eating wild foods. That's fair enough, isn't it? Hmm, more is. I'll have to cook up a real big mess of them next time. Look at that stuff. Hmm, see ya.